Are your stitches not coming out right? Hi, I'm Tova with Professor Pincushion, and today I'm going to be talking about thread tension. Thread tension describes the tension between the upper and lower thread. Ideally, they should be equal so that the stitching looks the same on both sides of the fabric. Incorrect tension can result in sloppy or loose stitches or stitches that pucker, gather, or break. Finding your correct thread tension doesn't have to be intimidating. Let's go ahead and get started. Think about thread tension as imagining that your upper and lower thread is in a tug of war. So each side, the top thread and then the bottom thread, which is in the bobbin, they're pulling against each other. And for you to have nice looking stitches, you don't want either side to win. Instead, you want them to continue to meet in the middle. So I have a few examples here of some different types of tension. Now this top one here, both of these, the tension here is too loose. So it doesn't really look much, but you can see that they definitely look a little bit sloppy for a zigzag stitch. If I was to flip this over to the wrong side, you can see this one is just slightly too loose and this is an extreme case of really too loose. Now you wanna practice on a scrap of fabric and probably use two different colors like I did. So I have black for the top part of threading the machine and I use red for the bobbin. And you can see what's happening here is because my tension is too loose, what's happening is that my top thread or my black thread is being pulled to the back. And even in this case down here, you can see some of the black thread coming through. So this one is definitely too loose. I have one down here. This is an example of being too high of a tension. So it's too tight. Now I have the same case where the top is my black the red is the bobbin, and because it's too tight, the black thread or the top thread in that tug of war is pulling the back thread through, and that's why you can see all my red thread here coming up. And on the back, it just looks okay. You can also see some tunneling, so it's kind of pulling these two sides together because it's kind of tight. So if your fabric is puckering or gathering, chances are your tension is too tight. And lastly, we have this example. This is correct thread tension. You're not really supposed to see each of the other side. You can see a little bit of red thread coming through here, but for the most part, it looks pretty clean. It's lying nice and flat. If we were to look on the other side, it's the same case where it's lying nice and flat and looks pretty neat. When trying to correct thread tension, make sure that you're threading your machine correctly. And also make sure that you're threading it with the presser foot raised up. If you don't thread the machine right, it's going to affect how your stitches look. Also, make sure that you're using a new needle and using the correct needle for your fabric. Some machines allow you to adjust the tension on the bobbin. You wanna consult your machine manual to see if your machine can do this. If you have a drop-in bobbin that just goes on the top part of the base of the machine, there may be a chance that you don't need to worry about doing any tension adjustment on the bobbin. But if you have the front loading that comes in this metal casing, so the bobbin goes into this metal casing, then you, chances are, you can adjust the tension. And I like to do this before adjusting the upper tension, because once you get the bobbin tension adjusted, then you can fool around with the upper and you don't have to keep fooling around with the bobbin tension. So I just put my bobbin inside the casing and just thread it as I normally do. So I go through this little spring as the last step. So if you do that normally, then go ahead and do this. And you can just kind of pull this just to see if it's loose or if it's tight. The tension's actually controlled by this screw here. I have two screws here, but it's actually this top one here. And by loosening and tightening the screw, it's going to adjust the tension on the bobbin. So if I'm looking at it like this, so you can see I have this little slot up here and I just rotated it, I can use my screwdriver and if I turn it to the left, it's going to loosen that thread tension and if I turn it to the right, it's going to tighten it. If you do any adjustments here, just do very slight adjustments. To adjust the bobbin tension, I'm just going to thread my machine as normal. I'm gonna use a pretty neutral fabric. I'm just using a lightweight muslin cotton fabric. 
I'm going to put my upper thread tension at three. So pretty much the machine is just at neutral. Then just start sewing. I'm just doing a zigzag stitch. You can kind of see what's going on here. So in this case, this is the black is still the upper and the red is the bobbin. You can see the red is coming through. So that means the bobbin tension is too loose. So maybe just do a slight little adjustment to the right with that screw to tighten it up a little bit and see if it gets a little bit better and starts looking like this. Now this one, let's flip it over and look at the wrong side. Now you can see the black thread is coming through, which means that the thread tension of my bobbin is too tight. So then I would just slightly turn that screw a little bit to the left and see if that corrects the problem. Once the bobbin tension is correct, then we can move on to the upper thread tension. So you only need to adjust this depending on what type of fabric you're going to be using. So you would grab whatever fabric you're going to be using for your project and using scraps of that to sew on, and then just dialing this either left or right in order to correct the thread tension again. So the higher up you go, the tighter the upper thread tension is going to be, and the lower you go, the looser that thread tension is going to be. You can see these lines in between the numbers. That's just the kind of standard neutral setting. So if you're just using a regular midway fabric, chances are you're good to just stay in this range. Normally, if you're using a heavyweight fabric, such as I know that if I'm going to be sewing with neoprene, I'm going to be using a higher number, usually an eight. If I'm sewing with something very fine and delicate, such as a silk chiffon, I might be using a lower number, like a three. You just have to play with it and see what works for you. Now, what this dial is doing is I'm moving it up and down in this range. You'll notice in the slot, it's very hard to see, but what we have are tension discs, and your thread is going through this. So as you're adjusting this, these discs are moving closer or further apart. So if I'm going down, they're moving further apart. And if I'm going up, these discs are going closer together. So this is also going to affect depending on what type of thread you're using. So if I'm using a really thick thread, such as a super heavy duty thread, I may wanna use a lower number so it goes through the tension disc a little bit easier. And the reverse would be true if I'm using a finer, thinner thread. When testing your thread tension, make sure to hold the tail ends of your thread here for at least the first couple of stitches. Otherwise, sometimes what happens is the threads get sucked back into the machines and you end up with some thread nesting going on on the wrong side. Also, I would do at least six inches of sewing just so you can get an accurate feel on how your stitches are going to turn out. If you're still having trouble getting nice stitches, try cleaning your sewing machine. Sometimes dust can affect the stitches and you can watch our tutorial on machine maintenance for some simple cleaning tips that you can do. And if you're still having an issue, take your machine to a reputable sewing machine repair shop so that a professional can take a look at it. I hope this tutorial leaves you feeling more confident in tackling thread tension. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to get notified of our weekly releases. Also check out professorpincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 350 sewing tutorials. If you would like to directly support us, you can check out our Patreon campaign and earn some exclusive perks. Thanks for watching.